So just keep in mind, we do have a lot of positive news right now. The S&P 500 is very bullish. We're hitting all-time highs. If the stock market can maintain these all-time high levels, then very likely the US dollar index would end up losing this support level, which would end up being bullish for Bitcoin in the end. And very likely Bitcoin would start to run up towards that 17K level. Ethereum would start to run up towards that 484, 488 level. And that Chainlink could potentially be looking to run up towards 15 US dollars. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kevin Svensson and today we're gonna to be talking about the price of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Chainlink, the S&P 500, the US dollar index, and much more. And before we get into today's video, I just wanna mention that if you guys enjoy my channel, if you like my content and you wanna get more of an inside look into how I accumulate, how I invest my money into the crypto market, consider joining Patreon. In the beginning of the year, I created this portfolio from scratch and I invested a total of 20,000 US dollars and that has tripled. If you join Patreon, you become a part of my community and you can get access to the VIP chat. So now continuing on with today's video, the big news of the day was that Pfizer and Announced positive early results from its coronavirus vaccine trial, cementing the lead in the global race for this vaccine. They are reporting that this vaccine is 90% effective, and this is obviously very positive news for the U.S. stock market. And currently, the S&P 500 is up 3.3% today. And this move up has now put the S&P 500 back into all-time high territory. In looking at the four-hour chart, we can see that today, Bitcoin went down. We had this four-hour candle down over 5% within four hours. And people are wondering, why did Bitcoin go down today if the stock market was going up? And there is an answer for that, and that is that the U.S. dollar index has actually found support and did see some upside today. The U.S. dollar index is up 0.63% today. And obviously, you know, this bounce off support is causing Bitcoin to see a little bit of resistance here. If you're looking at the U.S. dollar index compared to Bitcoin, we can see that there is a very, very strong inverse correlation. And the U.S. dollar index finding support this morning did cause Bitcoin to see a little bit of a pullback. And also, this has affected gold. The U.S. dollar index seeing a little bit of support today, the stock market rallying, people are going to be getting out of gold. And I do think that this pullback for Bitcoin is only temporary. We are actually finding now a significantly higher low on the four hour chart. So there's a lot of factors playing into this right now. Personally, I think Bitcoin is good to go. I think we're still going to be remaining very bullish. There's a lot of demand. There's a lot of momentum. And if you guys have been keeping up with the Bitcoin balance on exchanges, you can see that there's Bitcoin leaving exchanges at a record pace which means the circulating supply is getting thin and there's not that much Bitcoin available for people to buy, which will allow the price to go up much easier. Now, there's a lot of factors playing in to what's going on with the Bitcoin price. What's super interesting is the S&P 500 is now breaking out into a new all-time high right after the U.S. election took place. And if you're looking at 2016 in November, beginning of November, this is exactly what happened to the S&P right after the 2016 election. We entered a one-year-long bull market until this peak right here when the S&P and Bitcoin both hit their peaks, Bitcoin at 20K, and reversed. Now, the S&P 500 right now is sitting at a new all-time high, and it's quite possible that the S&P 500, the stock market overall, might be also looking to enter another potentially year-long bull market. If you guys remember, I talked a lot about the S&P 500 election year seasonality chart. And what this chart suggests is that the most common pattern, the most common price action that the S&P sees during an election season is a double bottom formation in the month of October and then rally going into the election or after the election. And if we're looking at the S&P right now, what did we get? The S&P saw a double bottom formation and then we rallied after the election. And this seasonality chart for the S&P 500 suggests we are going to be entering a major uptrend now going into 2021. And again, this is the exact same thing that happened after the 2016 election. So things could be getting very bullish here moving forward. If the S&P 500 continues up through all-time high territory, I do think that Bitcoin will also be continuing up past 20,000. The last major hurdle that Bitcoin needs to get above is that 17K level. That 17.2K level is the last major hurdle that Bitcoin needs to get above. If Bitcoin can break out above 17.2K, I do think that very likely we're going to be breaking into a new all-time high within the first half of 2021. 
Now we have to remember that even if things are gonna get very bullish for Bitcoin in the stock market and that we're gonna be headed for new all-time highs now moving forward, we have to remember that there's gonna be some insane volatility on the way up. From 2016 going into 2017, during the last major bull market, on the way up, we had so many of these insane pullbacks, right? 30, 40% pullbacks, you know, one after the other on the way up. And you have to remember guys, you're gonna to have to be able to stomach that. We're gonna see those types of moves again. Bitcoin is very likely gonna see this type of insane volatility on the way up. So you guys have to be ready for that. And like I keep saying in all of my past videos, the buy the dip strategy is gonna be the right strategy in this type of market environment. Any dips, in my opinion, should be bought in this market environment. And looking at the four hour chart so far, the buy the dip strategy is rewarding people. If you're buying these dips, you are getting good entries. And that is my point. In this market environment, the buy the dip strategy works. And Bitcoin right now is creating higher lows and we do have a lot of momentum. So I do think that Bitcoin actually does have enough steam to get another push to the upside to test potentially 16.2 to 17.2 on the next major move to the upside. As long as the stock market remains bullish here and as long as the US dollar index doesn't see a major bounce, I do think that Bitcoin would very likely have enough momentum to start breaking out again, moving towards the 17K level. Now looking at Ethereum on the daily chart, it does seem like we are getting above that 420 resistance. We got a breakout. We actually came back to test it as support briefly here, and we're still holding these levels, and we are seeing higher lows here on the daily. So it does look like Ethereum could also have the momentum to push up towards 400 and 84 US dollars. And as of right now, this is what I'm looking for. I do think that Bitcoin and Ethereum do have enough momentum to get some continuation to the upside. And we could be hitting that target in the not so distant future. And Chainlink is also playing out in a very interesting way. We came above this major downward sloping resistance line. We turned it into support. And then we found ourselves in this very neutral spot where we were below the previous upward sloping trend, but above this downward sloping resistance. So we were sitting in this very neutral point Point here you know right in the beginning of November and then we broke out the other day we got this insane wick to the upside with this ugly daily candle close but the market was able to turn this upward sloping trend line back into support and we rallied so we have flipped that previous trend line back into a support level so if we can get above that 1340 resistance which is a very key resistance here if we can get above $13.40 I do think that the next major target for Chainlink is going to be coming in around that 15 USD level 15 USD was a pretty major support and resistance zone we had a lot of chop in this range and it is a psychological target I do think that 15 USD would be the next major upside target for Chainlink if things do remain bullish and I would also like to see Chainlink remain above that 21 day EMA on the next pullback and then look to break 1340 to head towards 15 US dollars. So just keep in mind, we do have a lot of positive news right now. The S&P 500 is very bullish. We're hitting all time highs. If the stock market can maintain these all time high levels, then very likely the US dollar index would end up losing this support level, which would end up being bullish for Bitcoin in the end. And very likely Bitcoin would start to run up towards that 17K level. Ethereum would start to run up towards that 484, 488 level. And that Chainlink could potentially be looking to run up towards 15 US dollars. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to join Patreon. And definitely check out the CryptoWatch platform, which is what you see me use in all my videos. You can chart and trade all from one place. It's free to sign up. Click those links below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.